Hello, and welcome back to, I guess this is building a West Marches game with Arcurus. Now, you might have some questions as to what you're seeing right now. So, um, this program I have is Dungeonographer. This is the free version. I'm really, really thinking about picking up their pro version because just based on what I've used thus far, I am really, really liking it. So I decided to come in and generate a map with this rather than random generate my own or try to custom build my own because I, you know, was really indecisive about that. But, and then it came to me that if I tried to build it in map tool, I don't really have a lot of the stuff that I need uh, to mark terrain the way that I want to. So this one has all that stuff built in. I'll show you how I built this one. So when you open it up, you're going to get a screen like this. And I went ahead and put in some new map size settings, 29 hexes by 33 hexes. So what this matches out to is in the Kingmaker Player's Guide, it has this blank hex paper uh, for use with the exploration rules. And this is 7 wide by 11 tall. So that's what I used as dimensions uh, for my map, is I wanted it to be 4 wide, and then I want it to be 3 pages tall. So this is about 12 pages. Yeah. So with hex width, I went with 50 pixels. And then in my calculator, I calculated hex height, uh, hex height to width is approximately 1.154 bunch of decimals. So I went ahead and multiplied that out and just rounded it up. So that's how I got that. And then I went with the orientation is rows, uh, true rows as opposed to true columns. Here in the background here, you can see true columns. You can see the hexes are uh, on their sides, uh, different system Different systems uh, orient, orient the hexes a little bit differently. Um, I went with true rows, which is how this is. As you can see, the hexes are aligned by rows rather than by column. I went with few oceans because I didn't want there to be a whole bunch of water all over the map because of uh, plans further on. Then I went ahead and just generated it, and this is what it came up with. Uh, the red lines moving throughout the map, I went ahead and drew those in there because you can, I can still completely edit this, and that's part of what we're going to do here. So each one of these is a, you know, one of those hex papers. So if the group is going to, you know, create their own map based upon, you know, based upon like what you tell them is going on, uh, they can fill in their own map as they go. But this is how all of that is. So, because it's the west marches, you're marching west, uh, I went ahead and put the town in the east in the center of the map. And I'm thinking each of the different pages is going to act as, you know, the rows out are kind of each going to act as a, uh, um, as like the level bands, so to speak, uh, as far as random encounters go. I haven't really decided on that yet. So if we go ahead and zoom in. So this is kind of a big map, but I wasn't sure how big to make the map. Um, I have played Kingmaker, and Kingmaker's map is 2 by 4 that's why 4 wide. So this whole section down here is as big as the entire Kingmaker map gets, which is like a 1 through 20 campaign. Uh, with, But that's with lots of like multi-layer dungeons sprinkled in, that sort of thing. And a lot of extra ways to gain XP. So looking at the map and looking at the key, I see a lot of things that I like. And a lot of things that I like are kind of mixed terrain types, as well as um, other uh, types of terrain that I hadn't thought of. And then there's also some fixing to this map that's going to need to happen. 
uh, because these, well, these are hills. They're not like sand dunes. Uh, there is a sand dunes, um, there is a sand dunes, uh, you know, tag here, but that's not what these are. So these are supposed to be uh, basically plains, but with hills. And there is a more appropriate uh, one of these here, grassy hills, that I can just replace these with. And so in some places I'll replace them with grassy hills and in some places they're probably going to get replaced with sand dunes. You know, it's I've random generated the map. Now it's time to it's time to go in and um and play with it a little bit more, you know, hone it down. So, I would always start in the cell that the game is going to start in because it's not really going to go too much past this in the early game. And there's a lot of space in here to put stuff. So, uh, talking about like the different types of hexes, so uh, these green hexes, these are going to be plains. Uh, these right here, these are sandy deserts. Uh, this one right here, I believe, is rocky desert. Yeah. This is rocky desert, so that's what that is. These are forests. These are mountains with... Here it is, forested mountains. So these are mountains with, you know, trees and everything on them, whereas these here would be rocky mountains. Not to be confused with the United, with the Rocky Mountains of the United States. Um, then we have here, uh, this is forested hills, and this is light forest as opposed to dense forest. And I kind of like that. And if we go back, into core and take a look at the core rulebook. We can see that on forest terrain, forest terrain can be divided into three categories, sparse, medium, and dense. So you see these. So the light forest could be um, medium versus dense. So the light forest could be medium and the uh, dense forest could be dense forest. So we're gonna come back over here in our exploration rules. This is the DM copy and we're gonna scroll all the way down. I made a notes here. Uh, when I was trying to auto generate uh, a world with a uh, map tool. I noticed on here that I forgot to put in the desert terrain type. It's just not there. So that's going to have to be adjusted. Even if I'm not using this, the system could be fun. So I'm going to continue developing this system as I go. So we're going to go to notes. Notes 2. So there's light forest and heavy forest. Light forest is going to count as medium forest, and d uh, heavy forest is going to count as dense forest. Then we'll go ahead and copy paste that. Oh, I hate it when it does this. 
Like it makes it impossible for me to create lists. Okay. So we've got that. And so maybe we can do, because this has some like uh, blended biomes, uh, we could possibly make some blended tiles. So we'll make some blended tiles based on mixing two hex types according to the hexagrapher or hexographer. So that's something we can do. All right, so let's start. Let's let's fix some of these hills here. So I'm going to pick this. Um, I'm going to turn these green. So these are going to be grassy, just like everything else. And then I'll kind of slowly work my way out. are probably going to become like sand dunes or something. Not sure. I know this one up here is going to be sand dunes. That makes sense to me. Maybe these will be sand dunes that are rolling into a hill from the sandy desert. So that's all we're going to worry about on this map for now. and more. Uh, so that's marsh. So I know these tiles here are um, those are actually like grassland. Actual grassland. And like what I'm using as plains is actually uh, farmland but uh, this looks more like you know swamp or moors to me. So I'm actually going to change it to that. Change it to marsh. I'm not really sure if I like that one. Yeah. And this will be like a lowland right in here. So as far as elevation goes. Might as well do the whole do the whole map while I'm here. This is a big one in through here. I know this is all supposed to be like plains or grassland, but I like the idea of there like being a big marsh. And a lot of this stuff doesn't geographically really make any sense. So like a big marsh or swamp like this um, would probably border like a big river delta. Um, but as you can see, we don't really have rivers coming through here. We have some lakes. Uh, this is probably like part of a sea, I would guess. It goes all the way off the map over here. These are some really big lakes here and some inland seas. Okay, so let's get some hills. And I'm 
painting this stuff in by uh, by feel rather than by um, you know following like a random generator that sort of thing. So let's get some more sand dunes in here. And we'll leave that one as hills. I don't really like there being like a rocky desert right here. So maybe I'll just uh, continue on with the forested mountains. Yeah. So that's, that's looking pretty good. So the other thing is what this is going to tell us is so this is going to tell us specifically uh, what kind of biomes we actually need to make uh, you know more uh, or like encounter tables for. So what we've got here is we have no swamp so there's no need to make like a low level swamp biome or swamp um, yeah, there's no need to make a low-level, like, swamp uh, encounter table. So you need to make, you know, fresh water, freshwater lake. Uh, you need to make forests. You need to make hills, plains. Uh, you need to make desert. And you need to make some mountains. And that's about it for, like, level one. So, like, that'll get us started. And I've decided that I am going to... Uh, limit my encounter tables to d20 each. So I was making those huge master encounter tables that I was paring down, that sort of thing. Uh, I've just decided that I'm probably going to pick um, encounters for those uh, just to make the world a little bit more focused instead of having it be completely random. So that's going through the map, so we're going to go ahead and save as. And let's see. It's an HXM. There it is, West Marches. So we're going to save over that. That's my original save. So we can come in and edit this as we need. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and go into here. So, light forest tiles, we'll count as medium forest, and then blended tiles. So blended tiles, we need forested hills. That's probably the only one that we need. Uh, forested hills, forested mountains. Okay. Urban, why are you not? Okay. So the thing is, with these terrain types down here, not all of them actually have their rules attached to them. It just has these features attached to them, and I'm not really uh, in love with that. Because most of the rules are, like, up in... Um, so, like, the chance to get lost is over in here. So like if we look in here, the survival DC to get lost in mountains, you know, regular mountains is 12. So that would be Rocky Mountains. 
but like if we make forested or jungle mountains, right? Uh, I would think it would take the survival DC of the forest and jungle. So I would probably add that information down in here to this stuff, uh, as well as add to this table here. I could probably do that. So like also, um, moving through there, um, yeah. Travel time, so like also these uh, affect uh, explore, uh, exploration and travel as well. So like there's still stuff in here. What what is there? There we go. Get rid of that. So like there's still stuff like in here that needs to be done. But you know that's what I'm looking at right now. So I kind of I kind of like that. And so then you could uh, with like forested hills and forested mountains. Uh, what you could do with that is you could start merging um, encounter tables as well. And that would be fun. So like normally the survival DC to avoid getting lost in hills is only 10, uh, but if you're in forested hills, it would jump up to like 16. That sort of thing. Or maybe I would turn each of these into like a modifier. So a desert or a plain, you know, the DC would be 10 plus the modifier. So this would be a plus four, This would, uh, forest would be a plus six. Uh, swamps, marsh, or hills would be plus zero. Uh, mountains would be plus two. Water would be plus eight. And urban ruins or dungeon would be minus two. So, yeah, you would add six onto there. So if you, this would be 16. Uh, a forested mountain, like the DC to not get lost, there would be an 18. That makes sense to me. So... This is a neat little program. Right here. So this is gonna... So I'm thinking this is gonna be my... Um, you know, the world I'm gonna use. Of course, we still have yet to like name regions and... Uh, you know, mountain ranges, that sort of thing. We have yet to name that, we need to name these lakes. You know, we need to name the whole area, essentially. We haven't even built the town, so that's going to be something I'm going to be working on in the interim. When I've got something, I'll be back to let you guys know about it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Sarkuris, signing off.